welcome to our Good Friday Communion. The Lord's Supper is not about Christ's resurrection, but it's about His death. We are proclaiming the Lord's death till He comes. There are two elements in the communion, the bread and the cup. Now, the Bible tells us that many people are falling sick and are remaining sick for this reason. It's because we are not discerning the Lord's body. You see, when we fail to discern the Lord's body, it means you have failed to take advantage of what is already provided for. It's not saying that we have sin in our lives. It is as it is. The world is under the sentence of sickness and death. So, partaking of the communion is a way out. Let's discern the Lord's body right now. Whatever sickness, disease, weakness that you have, as we partake the bread, we are partaking of His wholeness and health. Some of you might be wondering, can we receive healing just by eating the bread of the Lord's Supper? Why not? The fall of man happens when Adam and Eve ate the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil. So I want you to pray with me right now and thank God for His broken body as we lift our bread up to the Lord and say, pray with me, say, Lord Jesus, I thank you. By your stripes, I'm healed. Through your broken body, my youth and strength is renewed like the eagle. My body is restored. I'm made completely whole in Jesus' name. Yes. Now, let's partake of the bread together. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for your broken body, for my healing. I receive it now. Mm. Now, we are also going to partake from the cup. The blood of Jesus is not just a symbol. The blood of Jesus is how the life of Jesus flows into our life. Life is in the blood. Amen. When we drink the cup, we are receiving the life of Jesus. Whatever His life is, when we partake of the communion, our life partakes of His life that He has given to us. When we partake of His life, we receive life. His body is love. We are partaking His love. His life is health. We are partaking of His health. His life is mercy. We are partaking of His mercy. His life is blessing. We are partaking of His blessing. His life is forgiveness. And we are partaking of forgiveness and freedom from sin. So, no matter how far you think you are from God, and how much you have sinned, the blood of Jesus was shed for you, shed for me. So drink in consciousness that your sins have been sent away. Christ Jesus has taken away all our sins. And if you have never asked Jesus to come into your life, to be your Lord and Savior, you can invite Him right now. I want you to follow me in this prayer. Say with me, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. I believe that you died, was buried, was raised to life for me. Thank you for the gift of life. Amen? All right. Now, lift the cup. And we are going to pray together for God's blessing on our cup. Say with me as well, 
pray this prayer with me and say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for this cup, which is a new covenant in your blood. It was shed for the forgiveness for all my sins, past, present, and future. That's right. Thank you, Lord, that all my sins are removed. The curse is broken. The blessing is mine. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Let's drink together. Mm. Raise your hands up and begin to thank God for your healing. Thank God for divine health. Thank God for His blessings. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for everything that you have paid for. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your great sacrifice. All right, now, I just want to thank all of you for participating with us in this communion together. Go ahead and continue to fellowship. Continue uh, to enjoy this Good Friday, this time of communion that we can have with Jesus. God bless you all. We see you again for our Easter service. Bye.